a very good morning to class 12 students so uh, as you know that we have already discussed that uh, why dna is our genetic material we have discussed that and thoroughly now the next uh, which is the main process the main process in this chapter which we have to discuss that is the enzymes for dna replication it means we have to discuss now start with our main process replication replication means we will talk about replication means we will talk about that how from dna new copies of dna is formed means if this is a parent strand how from parent strand new dna copies is formed so that process is known as replication right so that process of forming dna from dna that is known as replication so today in this v uh, lecture or video i'm going to talk about the machinery or the um, things we need for replication process the first thing we are going to talk about is enzymes enzymes which are required for dna replication so let's see that what what is dna replication machinery is as uh, dna is able to perform two processes what are those processes that you people should know that one is autocatalyst and second is heterocatalyst autocatalyst means that dna can make its own copies as i earlier told you that if this is dna this is the parent strand and you know that dna is in double standard so from this parent strand new dna that is new copy of dna can be formed this property of dna is known as autocatalyst means dna can form new dna the another property of dna having that is the heterocatalyst heterocatalyst means that from dna rna can be synthesized now you are very much familiar with the central dogma that all the information is stored in dna it is transferred to mrna and then it is expressed in the form of proteins and this whole process it is known as central dogma and we know this point right we all already uh, have discussed this point but here we are uh, saying that there are two properties dna has one is it is act as a autocatalyst auto matlab auto means self so it can make its own dna copy and hetero means different forms so from dna rna can be synthesized now what is the machinery or i will say what is the enzyme required for this process machinery or you can say material see whenever you have to cook a vegetable you need vegetables first right so same uh, for performing the process of replication you need enzymes enzymes aapko chahiye because in, this is a enzyme regulated process it will not happen otherwise so first enzyme we are going to discuss here is helicase as you can just uh, uh, look at its name that is heli case right to open dna helix in which form our uh, dna is present dna is present like this it is present in the helical form right it is present in the helical form so if this is a parent strand if this is a parent strand what you have to form a new strand so first condition is we have to change this form into the straight one means this helical form has to break down so there is a enzyme which initiate this process jiski wajah se ye process shuru hota hai unwinding unwinding of dna or dna gets open up that is your helix oh sorry helicase right so in this enzyme help in opening of dna helix now this dna this dna molecule it is attached with the nitrogen bonds as you know that they uh, hydrogen bonds as you know that nitrogen bases are present here 
right and these nitrogen bases they are held with the help of हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड्स तो अगर आपको इस डीएनए को अलग करना है दोनों स्ट्रैंड को यू हैव टू ब्रेक डाउन द हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड्स दैट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ हेलीकेज इट ओपन अप द डीएनए हेलिक्स बाय ब्रेकिंग हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड्स नाउ देन इज द टोपो आइसोमेरेज नाउ व्हाट इज द व्हाट इज टोपो आइसोमेरेज एज यू कैन सी what is the topo isomer see your dna is like this right now once uh, you have uh, now helicase has opened up this dna but it's like a rope once it is open there are chances that it again combine like this so there is some kind of tension in between these two strands so we have to remove that tension taki ye dobara is position mein nahi aaye right so that tension is removed by topo isomerase topo isomerase what does it do it removes tension of two individual strand so what it does what is it doing there are these two strands right so what is topo isomerase is doing suppose topo isomerase is there it will now the helicase has already opened up this strand now topo isomerase uh, will help them to release the tension so it will bind here at this point and then rotate it rotate it cut and then sealed again so in this way these two strands are now completely opened up they will not join again so topo isomerase cut it rotate and reseals the strand so basically it release it remove the tension of two individual strands then there is another uh, stabilizing protein once uh, your strands they are opened up so still to make them more stable so that they do not combine again with each other so again one more uh, protein one more enzyme which is playing a role one is topo isomerase and another is the another ad additional enzyme that is the single strand stabilizing protein that is sssp 3sp it makes the strand more stable without any stress if even after topo isomerase function still strand has some kind of stress that is released by uh, uh, 3sp it help to stabilizing the strand clear so this is our function of single strand stabilizing protein then the another one enzyme which we need during our process of replication is ligase now what what is topo isomerase doing your strands were like this helicase opened up but still there are chances that they can combine again so topo isomerase it cut this strand again join this so when it form a cut here the new uh, joining and it uh, the glue which joins the end that is ligase so when topo isomerase cut the strands of dna they are again resealed they are again uh, resealed by the enzyme those enzymes are ligases so what is the function of ligases they are used to join dna fragments right if it is a common function it is not only that it will uh, help us only when topo isomerase cut the strands no otherwise also the enzyme which is used to joining the fragments in our machinery in our body that is the ligase so ligase is used to join the dna fragments now the next uh, enzyme we need here for our replication process is dna polymerase 1 dna polymerase 1 polymerase right if one it has a specific number that is one because there are three types of polymerases so here we are talking about one it helps in removal of primer and filling the gap now the question directly comes in our mind that what is a primer primer is a very short 7 to 10 nucleotide they are small pieces of rna 
right and uh, we will see uh, in our next le lecture that how why we need primer in our replication process but for right now for this moment you need to know that dna polymerase one what is its function ye karta kya hai it remove the primer and fill the gap primers as you can see now there are primer we discussed our word primer and the next enzyme is primase primase it help in primer synthesis and what is the primer primer is short segment of rna so those uh, that enzyme which help in synthesis of short stretches short strands like this short strands of rna small small segments made up of 7 to 10 nucleo tides of rna that is synthesized by enzyme primase what is this enzyme is actually it is depend on dna it is dna dependent rna polymerase and helpful in synthesis of small species of rna next enzyme we needed is that is Uh, we need is dna polymerase 3 dna polymerase 3 has three subunits and three subunits have play very important role now as you can see first is the alpha subunit then second is epsilon unit and the third one is beta 2 subunit so let's see first what is alpha subunit it is a catalytic unit means it's going to play a very important role in reaction which reaction your replication process it help in formation of bond between nucleotides now th suppose uh this is parent strand uh, this is a parental strand which moves from 3 dash to 5 direction so from this strand a new strand has to form in 5 dash to 3 direction what is your dna dna is made up of it is a polymer of it is a polymer of nucleo tides it means what are going to attach here that is the nucleotides new nucleotides so when new nucleotides are formed the bond formation between nucleotides it is done by the alpha subunit of dna polymerase 3 then the next one is epsilon uh, uh when we discussed uh, dna versus rna we said that dna ke paas ek special property hai that it uh, helps in proof reading means agar kabhi koi wrong nucleotide is added during dna copying uh, or you can say during replication process then that wrong nucleotide can be replaced by new a uh, nucleotide aur ye process kaun si hoti hai that is called the proof reading mechanism so is proof reading mechanism mein kis sub unit which um, uh, sub unit of dna polymerase 3 help that is the epsilon epsilon helps in proof reading it help in removal of wrong nucleotide and help in the adding of new nucleotide so wrong base pair or nucleotide is removed with the help of proof reading mechanism it is a special property of dna which is that is why one of the genetic material property then is the beta 2 sub unit now beta sub unit act as a sliding clamp uh, so that dna polymerase can hold टू डी एन सेपरेट स्ट्रैंड एंड रेप्लीकेट सो बीटा टू का काम थोड़ा थोड़ा टोपो आइसोमेरेज जैसा है वट टोपो आइसोमेरेज डू वोपो वट इज टोपो आइसोमेरेज फंक्शन टू रिलीव द स्ट्रेस बिटवीन दीज टू स्ट्रैंड नाउ वट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ बीटा टू स्ट्रैंड बीटा टू स्ट्रैंड इट act like this it act as a clamp like if these two strands are open so this is your beta 2 sub unit it keep these two strands open so that new strand can be synthesized it keep them open at a proper uh, position like a clamp ki aapne isko fix kar diya hai aise ki now they can be they cannot be now uh, joined together second thing they can uh, new strands can be easily formed so beta 2 sub unit it act as a sliding clamp so that dna polymerase 
can hold on to separate strands and these two strands they can replicate so basically uska helper hai ye dna polymerase ka so dna polymerase ek time pe hi dono replicate uh, dono strands ko simultaneously it can replicate so basically it work as a dimer there are two strands jinse yahan pe ek naya strand banna hai and yahan se ek naya strand banna hai right so dna polymerase if it is joining there it help in formation of new strand here uh at this position also it help in the formation of new strands at both the position one is at this position and one is another is at the this position so it work in two parts it works in the as a dimer that is the two parts so dna polymerase 3 replicate two strands simultaneously dimer dimer is actually dimer means two parts the last one we need is phosphorylase and nucleus phosphorylase that they help in addition of phosphate and you know that backbone of dna is it is actually that we need phosphate and nucleus it is another one who helps in proofreading if i ask you uh, ask you that tell me two enzymes which are going to help in proofreading then one is the nucleus and one is your epsilon unit of dna polymerase 3 right dna polymerase 3's epsilon unit also helps in proof reading so if in your uh, mcq and nucleus is not there and they have mentioned epsilon then you are going to mark epsilon if they have mentioned both epsilon and nucleus then it is fine if Eps uh, if nucleus is there epsilon is not there then you are going to mark this one so this is all about the machinery of dna machinery which we need or basically i will say the enzyme which we need for dna replication the next thing we are going to start is with our dna replication process so till then i will meet you in my next lecture take care have a